First off, I want to start by saying RIP to Richomi Kwan. TMZ dropped a statement that the family stated that he died today at 11.55, according to his family and a rep for the Fulton County Morgue. He died at 34 years old. My heart goes out to his family. There's not much information on the cause of death. There are rumors speculating that it was drug related, but nothing is confirmed. This is all alleged. I will keep you all updated as the days go by. So let's move on to this next topic. For those of you who are keeping up with Queen and Clarence, Queen and Clarence posted pictures with Queen holding bride to be sign, and everyone speculated that they were engaged. It's a whole big drama behind the whole thing. Chris Sales had something to say. Everyone had something to say about it. Queen took to the shade room that this is clearly trolling. But even if it was real, look at how people find something negative regardless. That's why I'm going to the courthouse. So let me know what y'all think about that. And y'all, I can't say I don't blame her on this. I mean, Clarence can propose today and y'all will have something to say about it. And if he don't propose and he's still waiting it out, Y'all gonna have something to say about it. So, I mean, a hey, what's the point in having a wedding and recording it and showing y'all? And, I mean, everyone's just gonna have something negative to say no matter what. As long as they're happy, I'm happy. And this is what Chris had to say about this. Yes. No, that was a close one on my soul. I thought they really got married. I was in my room crying day, night, and day in. Talk about. <laughs> but not on a serious note, baby girl, you do not troll us. You trolled yourself. <laughs> and so Queen coming out of the shade room instead. While he's laughing at me, I hope this coin he's making off my name help out a little bit with some of his son's expenses because I gave him grace by not putting him on child support. I've been so nice. He hasn't taught his son anything valuable. It's sad that another man had to come and do his part, shaking my head. And yeah, and he may have made me a wife quickly, but he also put bruises on me during the marriage, choked me up, ruined my self-confidence, calling me ugly, calling my body ugly after giving birth to his child, carelessly stepped out on our marriage countless of times, hogged all the money we made and other unspeakable things, but laughing at me because I haven't married again yet? I'd rather take my time in a healthy relationship than be in a traumatic marriage. You would think he would have done some self work to become a better man after all these years, but no, still delusional, narcissistic liar. I can only pray my son doesn't turn out like him. He needs to seek the guy he stopped believing in. So let me know what y'all think about that in the comments down below. She said a mouthful there, y'all. And this is what Chris had to say. Look, man, y'all know how to come tell my side of the story. Look, I'm about to tell y'all what my BM said. Look, while he's laughing at me, I hope this coin he's making off my name helped with some of his son expenses. Um, Cause I gave him grace by not putting him on child support. First of all, you make more money than me on my soul. What are you talking about? And you know if you did ask me for money, you know I'm gonna give you the little change I do got for my son. Come on, I don't do that. The, this whole time we've been separated, you have never asked me for money for our son. And I have never asked you for money for our son when he's with me. So, how did the child support even get brought up? I understand you're frustrated, but you don't put somebody on child support that take care of their child or have a relationship with their child and wants to be with their child. And then it's okay for you to speak your truth about his dad online in interviews. Look, man, y'all know how to come tell my side of the story. Look, 
But then when his dad come out and start speaking his truth, I haven't taught my son anything. I'm a narcissist. I haven't grown over the past couple years. Well, damn, how you know I ain't grown over the past couple years? I'm confused. How you know that? And then you said I ain't taught our son nothing valuable. How you know that unless you turned it to Siri and you be eavesdropping in our conversation? His dad come out and start speaking his truth. I haven't taught my son anything. I'm a narcissist. I haven't grown over the past couple years. Well, damn, how you know I ain't grown over the past couple years? I'm confused. How you know that? And then you said I ain't taught our son nothing valuable. How you know that unless you turned it to Siri and you be eavesdropping in our conversations when he's over here? How do you know I haven't taught our son nothing valuable? Can you please answer me that? Please. I'll wait. And then you say, I made you insecure. How? When you was already insecure, I may have added a little razzle dazzle to it. But at the end of the day, what young couple haven't? I was insecure in our relationship. I, I started wearing makeup. And then you said it's crazy. Another man had to step up in my child's life as if I'm an absent dad. Stepping up in which way? Stepping up because he have to? Because he's there with you? Because he's staying there with you? Step up. Obviously, I would hope you wouldn't be with him if he didn't step up. But at the end of the day, that's not like I'm an absent dad or that I don't take care of my child because I do. And my and my son know that he it, everything that my son asked me for, he got it. When he's over there with you, he's still calling to ask me for stuff, whether it's V-Bucks, anything. He know he got it. Only thing I haven't got my son is a monkey because who the f about to I'm not taking care of no damn monkey and I know it can't go over there. But everything else, our son has everything he needs and wants. He don't want for anything. He don't need for anything. And then you said you hope our son don't turn out like me. Is that because we didn't work out? What do you mean by that? Because I'm not a bad person. You know that. I may have failed as a boyfriend or a husband, but overall, I'm not a bad person. <laughs> okay? On my soul, I'm not. Any that's around me gonna tell you I don't put so many niggas on I didn't help niggas do this do that so where the f now I hope he doesn't be like me in the sense of you feel me when it comes to relationships you feel me and the mistakes I did but at the end of the day the f someone please help me out and then you said I'm hogging all the money well that's how clearance feel. Now you hogging all the money. You feel me? Like. Child. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments down below. Is Chris just yapping? Or is he making some valid points in what he just said? Y'all let me know in the comments down below. That's all of the tea that I had to spill today. Until next time. Peace.